I don't want to just survive. I want to truly live. Andy Serkis, what can you not do? You've had such a stunning career. <laughs> where does it all come from? Um, where does it all come from? I mean, I think I've always, ha always had a hunger to tell stories. And uh, when I was a kid, I used to play act all the time. And then, But what I really wanted to do was to be an artist. So I went to college to study art, uh, visual arts. And, um, and but, but my... my then I started to, in my first year, I started to design sets and things for, 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 for theatres, for theatre productions. Then I started acting and then I had to pack everything else away while I became a proper actor. Uh, but I always had this hankering for, for, for telling stories with film and uh, gradually began to you know, write and make short films and then direct and, you know, so... By so any means possible. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it, was just, it was just wanting to come out. That's incredible. Why tackle this particular story? Did it have some sort of resonance with you? It, it, it did for two reasons. One, one is because, of course, the subject matter is very close to me. My, my business partner and co-founder of the Imaginarium Studios, it's his parents' story. Um, secondly, I was brought brought up in a in a. I was brought up. My my father was a doctor who set up a, 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 a who was Iraqi and set up a hospital in Baghdad. And my oh, mother wow. taught disabled children in the UK. Um, so I grew up with with children who were polio sufferers or thalidomide or, or spina bifida sufferers. And um, and also my my sister contracted uh, multiple sclerosis about fifteen years ago. So so it's sort of. This world, the world of you know um, how people respond to fate, dealing them a very cruel blow, is is something that I was very interested in examining and coming and you know in the same way that my, my sister is doing, you know, does it with such grace and wit and humour. Uh, Jonathan's parents, Diana and Robin, did the same and had this incredibly vibrant, life affirming existence um, on the back of tragedy. That's incredible. So you put a lot of passion and personal feeling and hope into it. Absolutely. And, and it was just, a br apart from anything else, Bill Nicholson's script, when I came on board to do it, was, was just phenomenal. I mean, he is an exceptional writer and, and had researched Jonathan pa Jonathan's parents, Diane and Robin, very, very, very closely with him before I came on board. And then what inspired me and what, what, what appealed to me about the story was there uh, was after the moment where where she says, "Well, how can I make life better for you?" and he says, "Get me out of hospital." You know, in the 19, late 1950s, early 60s, it's just like, how does is that possible? It's like putting a man on the moon, um, and so the whole notion of of in this sort of Heath Robinson way of c creating new technology that allowed him to do that, that that's what inspired me as well, that, that whole... So great, it's bringing it all back. That whole thing. Thank you so much, Andy. Thank you very much.